Welcome to Value Vest Daily, where we analyze the best value and momentum investment opportunities. Today, we're plugging into a company that could seriously supercharge the entire electric revolution. That's Amprius Technologies, ticker AMPX. They're making a huge claim about the future of batteries, and we're going to break down whether this stock really has the juice to deliver a potential 16x return by 2030. So, think about it for a second. What's the one thing holding back pretty much everything cool and electric? You know, from electric jets and drones that can fly for hours to EVs that finally, finally kill range anxiety for good. What's the bottleneck? Yep, it all comes down to the battery. More specifically, it's about how much power you can cram into the smallest, lightest space possible. And that, right there, is the exact problem that Ampria says they're here to solve. So what's their secret sauce? What makes Ampria so special? Well, this isn't just about making a slightly better battery. No, no. This is a fundamental shift in how batteries are even built. Okay, here's the core idea, and it's brilliant. Think of a normal battery anode like a suitcase stuffed with clothes, but also a bunch of bulky, heavy packing peanuts. That's the graphite. What Amprius did is figure out how to toss out all those useless packing peanuts and instead pack that suitcase with 100% pure silicon, the good stuff. That simple change is their whole moat, their main advantage. And the result of that silicon advantage? This number right here, 450 watt hours per kilogram. Now to put that in perspective, that's not just a little better. That is a massive, massive leap. We're talking up to 80% higher energy density than the batteries we're all using today. So what does this kind of power actually unlock in the real world? Well, we're talking about drones that can stay airborne for hours longer. We're talking about lighter, more efficient electric planes. EVs that charge way faster and go much, much farther. This is not just some small step up. It's a potential game changer for all of these huge, high-growth industries. The tech is impressive, no doubt about it. But does the money follow the hype? Let's switch gears and dive into the numbers to see if they back up the story. And whoa, right out of the gate, you see this number. In its latest quarterly report, Amprius posted a 173% year-over-year jump in revenue. I mean, that is just explosive growth, plain and simple. Now, if we zoom out a bit, what we're looking at is the classic profile of a super high-growth tech company. The market values it at over $1.5 billion, but it's not profitable. Yet. That's why you see NA on the P-E ratio and those negative numbers for things like return on equity. But look, that's not necessarily a red flag. It's actually really common for companies at this stage because they're pouring every single dollar they make back into research and, more importantly, scaling up production to meet all that future demand. And you know what? That big spending strategy? It seems to be paying off already. They just smashed what analysts were expecting for their earnings. And get this, they've built up an order backlog of over $53 million. That backlog, which includes deals with big names like the aerospace firm ESA Aero and even a Fortune 500 company they can't name yet, is a huge signal of guaranteed revenue coming down the pipeline. All right, now for the big one, the number that gets everyone excited. Some of the most bullish analysts out there are projecting that Amprias, based on its tech and its market, could hit a market cap of $26 billion by 2030. From where it is today, that's a potential 16x return on your investment. Just wow. 16x. I mean, that's an absolutely incredible forecast. So the question is, what do the charts and the so-called big money investors think about all this right now? Let's take a look. So from a technical perspective, things look pretty good. The stock is in a really strong long-term uptrend. It's trading above its key moving averages, the 50-day and the 200-day, which is a sign a lot of traders love to see. But what's interesting is that its short-term momentum is kind of neutral. The RSI isn't screaming overbought, which could mean it's not a bad time to be looking for an entry point. So who actually owns this stock? This part is fascinating. While everyday retail investors like us hold the majority, Look at that other slice of the pie. Nearly 35% is owned by large institutions. That is a huge vote of confidence from professional money managers. And we're not talking about just any firms here. The list of investors includes the absolute titans of finance. We're talking BlackRock, the Vanguard Group, and the legendary venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins. When these guys put their money into something, you can be sure the rest of the market pays very close attention. Okay. So we've got this super exciting story, but you know we have to keep it balanced. We've got to weigh all this amazing potential against the very real risks that are involved. So let's see how the analyst targets stack up against the challenges. 
The pros on Wall Street are definitely bullish. The average price target for just one year out suggests a pretty healthy 35% upside. But as you look further out, those potential returns get way bigger, with a five-year target hitting around 56 bucks a share. That's more than a 300% gain from here. But, and this is a really big but, we have to be realistic about the risks. First, this company is burning through cash to fuel its growth. Second, the stock is a roller coaster. It's almost three times more volatile than the rest of the market. And third, there is immense pressure on them to perfectly scale up their manufacturing, all while fighting off some serious competition from players like Scylla Nanotechnologies. So this really is the million-dollar question, isn't it? Or maybe the $26 billion question. Amprius has breakthrough tech, absolutely. The growth is undeniable. But the road from being an innovative startup to a profitable global giant is, well, it's really, really tough. Can they make that leap before the money runs out? All right, and as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. This is all for informational and educational purposes. You've got to do your own deep dive research before making any investment decisions. If you found this breakdown valuable, please subscribe, like, and share Value Vest Daily for learning totally unbiased daily opportunities before you put your money to work. It really helps us out a ton. And hey, one more thing. What ticker symbol do you want us to deep dive next? Let us know down in the comments below. We read all of them. Thanks for watching.